Welcome back to episode 9 of this C++ beginner series. In this series I'm going to talk briefly about classes and what they are and how to use them. I chose to do this off camera because uh, well it was a little more complicated than the others so I thought I'd just do it and then I'd run down the code and show you the changes. Usually when people make classes they do them in a completely separate file. We're sticking with just one file of the same main.cpp so in this case we're going to go ahead and build our class within this file and then we'll run our main using our class. We named our class calculator and to use your class you do have to instantiate it just like instantiating a float or a double or an integer. It's the name of the class then you give it a name for the one you're going to use and then from there on the program is this essentially the same. We have our is running bool to check if we want to keep going and then while it's running we do calc.run and this does the exact same thing as our program did before except now it's all handled within a class and then to see if we want to keep going in our while loop I made a check if user wants to continue that returns a boolean and it essentially does the same thing but now as you can see our main is very small and if we had everything abstracted out this would be really simple to look at for another user and they would just have a few questions like alright let's look at how the calculator and run functions built but if it just works they might not need to. The whole One of the points of this is when you're editing and updating your code you can isolate it down to sections to work on say I want to improve my check of user wants to continue function you can do that if I want to improve my calculator I can do that and you just go work on the class and you don't have to touch the main. So that way if you have a lot of different people working on a lot of different pieces everyone can kind of improve little pieces of it and not step on each other's toes all the time. Okay so let's take a look at our calculator class. So the way you make a class is you start but with the keyword class and then you give it a name. It's traditional to start it with a capital letter. And then you do a set of brackets and you'll see the ending one down here and it does end with a semicolon and you have what's called uh, let's see what are these called uh, I think it's visibility maybe I can't remember exactly but you have public private and protected sections public sections are visible and usable to anybody instantiating your calculator class private sections are not you won't be able to see these um, from your instantiation. So if I tried to look at first number or second number I wouldn't be able to see them. The point of that is these these aren't supposed to be touched by the end user. These are used from within your class to handle the stuff it does. So I started out calling run. So first of all when I instantiate a calculator it calls this default constructor sets first number, second number, and choice to their default values and those are all private variables that it needs to set to some defaults then this here is called a destructor it's what happens when the your uh, instantiation goes out of scope it calls this destructor as you can see I don't have it doing anything special but you can if you want uh, by default of course it will deallocate all your standard variables but if you've got other things in here that it's not going to handle getting rid of automatically or if there's special things you want to run when your class goes out of scope or deletes you can put that here in the destructor in these brackets now our run as you can see this is a big section of what used to be in our main it is now well when we first run it it says choice to invalid and it starts our while loop just like before there's really no difference from that big chunk of code that used to be in our main in the previous episode. Now it's just this one line. So there's the end of run. As you can see it just gets an entry about what we want to do, asks for the numbers, but now when we call get entries we no longer pass variables into it. They are private and already ready to go. And there's our get entries. It is also a private function, so you can't call that from the calc directly. You have to call run and let it do its thing. And, well, that's pretty much it for 
getting started with classes. So you basically can build up a object that handles all its internal states and takes care of itself. And that's sort of the point of classes as well. I also, I also turned the end part of our program, which used to be just these lines, and I put that into a function as well. And now rather than setting is running, it just returns true or false. That way we can have we can have it ask the question when this function is called and it returns true if they hit yes. It keeps it running true. It returns false if they say no or anything anything other than yes. Okay. Well I hope this helps. And uh, thank you for watching another tutorial. I hope you're getting the hang of C++. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to give this a like if you uh, learned something or enjoyed the video or you think others could. It does help the YouTube algorithm and get my videos seen. And until next time, have a good one and keep coding.